and most of the areas in which he can improve on are coming off of this dribble, off this three-point line, right? So once he starts knocking down these three-point shots, defense starts closing out to you. They stay a little bit closer to you. They don't give you so much room on the catch. And Julius Randle knows this now. <laughs> Beats Julius Randle off the dribble. Beating an all-star Julius Randle on a team that plays tough-nosed defense in Tom Thibodeau's squad, right? He's beating him off the dribble. So let that sink in, okay? Now, where he's having trouble, you know, that's, that's a big up, right? It's like, wait, wait, wait. Luka can take all-stars off the dribble? Apparently. Apparently. All right, so off the dribble, attacks the paint. Now, this is where Luka needs to improve on, understanding the second line of the defense, right? When that help defense is reacting, making good decisions here at this point. So that's the next step for Luka. Um, we know how smart he is, right? On the catch and then attacking off the dribble. Look at that jab step, bro. We talk about Jer Derek White's jab step all the time. This is right on par, man. Boom, gets him on that jab step. Look at Julius Randle's like, oh, no. And that's a blow by. Now that he's on the way to the basket, it. look at all that space in front of him he really has to make a good decision here so i think he sees drew but that pass quickly goes away so he's taking off here and that's probably where he maybe wants to keep the ball for one more dribble at this point keep his dribble alive make make a second move on the second line of the defense um or you know kick out to a wide open shooter in the corner here right there's a couple other options that he that he had besides going right up into this charge and it was a charge you know, and this is kind of the area in this game where Luca showed, hey, you know, there's still some more growth that needs to happen. But hey, there's a lot of growth that has already happened. You can t you can live with this turnover. He's there. Those feet are set. That's a good call. Um, so here we go again, coming down. You're gonna see Luca catch this ball, give the blow by to Julius Randle again, right, bro, dude. <laughs> Luca has a really good first step. Luca's first step is sick. So boom, off the dribble. So again, once he blows by his first defender, it's now kind of still being able to slow down, be under control, read the defense, and know what the right play is. Right here, it's a bounce pass to DeJounte, right? Threading this needle right here. Boom, nice little bounce pass to, to, to DJ, right? But continues on the way to the basket. That's 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 another clean charge too, man. Man, he is ready. <laughs> he is ready for this charge, bro. Oh, man. Now that's how that's how you earn points with Tom Thibodeau, bro. That's how you get on the floor for Tom Thibodeau. Good job. There was no possession in which Julius Randle could guard Luka off the dribble. That is that is something that is true that did happen in this game. Now, can he guard him? I don't know, probably. But off the dribble, off the catch, Right, like when Julius Randle is coming from help side to ball to to guarding ball, you know, all stars don't close out. Let's just call it what it is. All stars are they get paid too much money to close out, and they call the walk on Luca. But still, that's a nice drive to the rim. So again, off the dribble, right? So attacking the rim off the dribble. But these aren't like you know the travels. Those don't really worry me too much. A lot of that is just kind of like jitters and youth. You know what I mean? Just kind of a little bit too anxious. Uh, before we take our little break, I just wanted to let you guys know again, I appreciate you guys for hanging out. I'm going to go through the chat and take your um, take your questions, kind of hang out with you, take your tips. Um, thank you guys for tipping and supporting my channel. You're not just supporting my channel. You're supporting my future baby that's coming up in April. Uh, everything I do here at Spurs Film Room has now turned into a pamper fundraising opportunity, <laughs> apparently. Um, pampers and wipies babies need them uh a lot apparently so thank you guys anything that you guys contribute to me in this channel anything this channel makes or whatever is going towards my baby fund so i'm gonna try to be doing more film rooms for you guys this month and, and next month as well um to you know get some more pampers all right so we're gonna take a little break and about two minutes and then we'll be right back